Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, um, any questions on Patreon, all of that fun stuff, down below in the description. Um, you can also go ahead and see the highlighted video that shows um, the services that I provide and what I provide on Patreon. Anyways, guys, um, the sound in the background is the fan, and we are doing fire signs. So, Aries, Sag, and Leo for the week of August 3rd to August 9th. And... How can I put it this way? When I was um, first tapping in to your energy, when I was first, you know, trying to sense what was going on, let's put it that way, there, there was a sense of the, the stagnation or the, the hold, the pause is over. Um, now it is a time for things to start moving, but moving fairly quickly and rapidly. So... <clears throat> excuse me, whatever it is that you guys are engaging in, whatever it is that you guys are doing, there is this sense of things um, starting to pick up speed. Now, with that being said, I was picking up, there is, um, for many of you fire signs, there is this feminine energy that um, is somebody that has passed away, whether it's a grandmother, an aunt, a mother, um, but it's definitely a very strong feminine energy. And it's like this, um, this, individual this person in the past um kind of wants you guys to know that you are protecting like, like they're guiding you to something or they're whatever hasn't manifested yet hasn't because there's something better coming let's just put it that way but there is um there is uh, there are a lot of you coming out of this phase of um kind of like being in the darkness kind of being lost kind of not knowing exactly which direction to take and i feel that maybe a lot of you felt that you were in that space longer than what you should have but it's like the clarity has been the clarity ha the clarity has come if that makes any sense um it, it's something how can i put it this way i'm trying to figure out like the uh, the, whatever it was that kept you in the dark, whether it was a relationship that um, came to an end, whether it was um, losing a job, whether it was losing a person or losing individuals or walking away or having people walking away from you, regardless of whatever it was, it was, it was, it was meant to um, push you to kind of dive in. And it's so funny because like when I'm like, literally like the image that is coming to my head, it's like, you know, you know, you guys have seen movies and stuff of like mermaids and stuff. And when they dive in, you see their, their tail up in the air. And it's like exactly like that. It's like you were meant to take this opportunity or this chant while things were put on hold to dive in and see exactly what it is that you were meant to do exactly what it is that your path, um, where, where it is in your path that you are and what what direction it is that you're meant to go and it's like it took a it took a lot of you a little longer to realize that that was the purpose that that was the reason for the hold it wasn't that um you didn't deserve it it wasn't that um, how can I put it this way? So it wasn't that you didn't deserve it. It wasn't that it wasn't meant for you. It was just you had to really dive in to the essence of you in order to be able to receive what it is that you have been asking for, to be able to receive what it is that you've been trying to manifest. There are a lot of things that are, when we talk about like obstacles and things like that, that have been in the way, things that have been, that you could say were blocking you and things like that. It's like all of that has been removed. All of that has been lifted. And it, the, the question now is, is, are you ready? Are you ready for what is coming? Are you ready for what is being manifested? Because the thing is that whatever it is that is, that is, growing and it's growing like at a massive massive rate is is going to scare the heck out of a lot of you because it's like you may have felt that for a very long time you were stuck for so long and all of a sudden it's like everything is happening all at once and everything that you have been working on or everything that you have been praying or hoping for um is right there and again it's like some of you are 
are in a space of wondering if this is too good to be true some of you may be in a space of okay um now what <laughs> um i accomplished a b c and d that i had on my list and now what do i do next type of thing and there mm, uh, there is this mm, this kind of push that some of you are going to be feeling like it, it, you're really not sure where it's coming from but you're being li like literally like shoved into a specific um a specific part of your path that you may have um only experience um when you have let's say like you know you've been in like in the dream realm or fantasize or you know wish upon certain things but it's like now you're being pushed like forcefully pushed into turning all of those dreams into turning all of your goals and everything into reality and the beautiful thing is that it is going to again it's like once you take that first that first step and you know that first step or that first action doesn't necessarily have to be um you actually doing anything for some of you it is but for some of you it's actually accepting and actually um allowing yourself to receive what it is that is coming to receive what it is that you have been working for to receive those rewards but there is like it's mm, it's like all of your ancestors, all of your angels, all of your guys, everybody's like right there, like kind of like, come on, it's just, just go, like, just go, like, go, 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 go. And it's like, they have your back. So there is no need or, um, yeah, there's like, there's no need to worry or need to fear because. Uh, whatever the space is whether it is in romance let's say or career wise or finances it's like it's something that is definitely going to blow up and the thing is sorry guys let me just put this a little higher because i'm getting hot in here um because i feel like that's what it's going to feel like when you're being pushed like you're being forced to accept that this is your reward and it either has to do with others in like you know either you're worrying about what others are going to say because of the rewards that you're getting or you're worried about what others are going to think and it's like no 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 you this is this is what is for you this is what we have been um helping you uh grow into if that makes any sense so there was a lot of things that you had to kind of let go of there was a lot of people that you had to release from your space and from your energy but it's because whatever this is is so massive that even if other individuals let's say have um anything negative to say about it it really doesn't matter because this is yours and it's like nobody can take this away from you from some, for some of you, it is a relationship that maybe you thought was dead. Maybe a connection where you you parted with this person probably years ago and you haven't seen this person in a while or something like that. But it's like, this is like, and, and you know, we always talk about when things from the past come back around. But for some of you selective fire signs, this person that is coming back from the past has put in the work and has worked on themselves and it's like when they come towards you you're going to be able to see that you're going to be able to realize that and that it's kind of going to be your confirmation that you're not stuck or you're not in the space of the energies where others were because everybody has the free will and the choice to go ahead and evolve and grow and really decide what it is from their heart that they want to do and this specific person did just that um Um, there, there. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but there's somebody that's into like squalls. Like, I don't know if you've seen like the t-shirts that have like the squalls or the little, you know, I have a little headpiece that has squalls or something like that. But it's going, whoever it is that is coming back from your past, whether it's you or the other person, there's somebody that is into squalls and um, that's probably a confirmation for you that when this person returns, is it's kind of like for good it's not to test you and it's not to be in with the in and out if that makes sense okay some of you <laughs> some of you have um recently realized or have come to 
the awareness of what your shadow side is or um, what your ego side is or whatever it is and it kind of threw you off for a loop let's put it this way some of you may have felt like you were being um, hunted down or like um, you were under like massive spiritual attack let's put it this way but it's like this this image and you i don't know if you guys saw that but it was like literally like just ashes just flew out of the candle which never really happens but it's it's more of what you thought and i'm sorry to say it this way but it's like what you thought the devil was really wasn't it let's put it that way and you had to you had to go through certain things you had to experience certain things to really realize exactly what quote unquote the devil symbolize, symbolizes for you or what evil symbol symbolizes for you and it has definitely shifted a certain perspective within yourself as to what life truly is and what it is that you should really be investing your time in if that makes any sense It's like you're literally, it's like, how can I put it this way? It, when you see, like, like, okay, let's put it this way. When a child is born, right, when a mother is giving birth and stuff like that, they usually pick up the baby and show it to the baby like this. So it's like you're literally, it's like the universe is literally, literally picking up the fire signs and telling the world like here, like here, or it's like the, either there, it's like, it, it's time for you fire signs to shine. It's like here you go, um, here you go, um, or whatever is being gifted or rewarded to you is like being presented to you in that matter of like, here you go, fire signs, here you go, you wanted the world, you got the world, you wanted this house, you got this house, you wanted this, you got this, and it's, it's this space of are you willing, are you ready, are you going to accept what is being gifted to you, that is really the, um, the number one question, I was going to move the fan, but it's too far away, and I don't feel like standing up, I'm being lazy today. Anyways, guys, whew, let's go ahead and see if anything else comes up for you guys. There are, uh, the, you may be presented um, this week with individuals that may be trying to either twist your words or try to smear your image in some way or form. Let's put it this way, where they want in order to make themselves feel or look better in a specific setting or something like that they kind of feel like they have to trash you and the thing with that is that you are not meant to do anything because these individuals are going to unmask themselves as they're doing that if that makes sense guys huge 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 um, spiritual revelation is coming to you guys this week it, it's going to be some type of like it's gonna it kind of feels like a mystical experience type of thing something that you have never really experienced before so just be um just be ready for that guys oh look at my camera just kind of froze there for a second but it's like I know um, Leo season is here so I know a lot of people are gonna be out celebrating and this and this and that and it's like you know what you whatever it is that you have manifested um into your life is like you have you have put in the work you have put in the work so you deserve to have some good time you deserve to have some good blessings coming in your way so enjoy it embrace it and just keep moving forward um Some of you are in a relationship or a connection currently. These are for those that are, um, you know, in relationships with, um, you know, romantic relationships. And you're wondering if this is the end of the road or if this is um, all there is to this connection or to this relationship. So you're kind of wondering if you, some of you may be feeling like you're settling and you have to kind of get to the root of that like why is that coming up now why are you feeling like that now is it that somebody else has um <laughs> sparked your interest when it comes to romance or have you like it's basically do not make any sudden changes or any sudden oh why is your candle burning like that do not make any sudden changes or do not make any sudden 
decisions when it comes to your current relationship until you go ahead and you really analyze what the root issue is as to why you're feeling like that i mean obviously if somebody's beating the crap out of you and somebody's treating you like crap then <laughs> i mean come on there's not really much to analyze but if you are feeling like this because somebody else has sparked your interest or because you're looking at other people's relationships or what other people post on like let's say social media and stuff like that then you really have to go inward and see why it is that all of a sudden you may feel like your relationship is not good enough let's put it that way so we're going to go ahead we are using the rebel deck um so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull out a card for each of you. I'm going to pull one out for Aries, one for Sag, and one for Leo. These are the cards that are going to be used for the main energy for the um, weeklies that are posted on Patreon, guys. And again, that information is down below in the description to be extended. So we have Aries, get over yourself, pull your shit together help people give back do good shit for humanity so this is your card aries and this may be your your action this may be what you you have to do is to stop um getting or staying in that space where you feel like a victim or staying in that space where you feel like there's not much that you can do like it is time for you to go ahead and get up you know you can help others you can help yourself you can give back there's a lot that you can do to help you have humanity in itself Alrighty, let's go ahead and see Sagittarius. Actually, let me turn it upside down. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay. Alright. Get some fucking sleep. You're being an ass because you're fucking tired. Face to pillow now. So during this week, um, Sag is very important, regardless of whether it is that you're taking the actions or you have gotten the clarity on how to take the actions, make sure that you're getting your rest, make sure that you're taking that time to take care of yourself, because if you don't, you are going to look like a hot mess, you are going to look like you're tired, so just go ahead and make sure that you're taking that time to rest. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, Leo, what is Leo's card? Oh, it's like Leo wants a full reading. I feel like you guys did that the other day too when we did the weekend, last weekend. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. So again, it's like, you know, take the actions. Do whatever it is that you have to do to um, accomplish the dreams and the goals that you have for yourself. So do you, Leo, that is your message for this week. Well, guys, and that is all that I have for you for today. As always, thank you for all the love and support, and I'll see you guys back next week. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye. And end it.